Never thought I'd get so upset about Sam eating an apple. Don't let me get to you. Yeah, well, I can't help it. Well, he's up on him. He's only a kid. Well, he has to learn that when you make a commitment, you have to stick to it. Not forget about it simply because the going gets tough. Um, isn't that a school shirt? Yep. Well, why are you owning it? Well, because you'd probably get up me if I wore it to school full of wrinkles. So I'm going back. I decided to give the HSC a shot. Well, Shane, that's wonderful news. Yeah, well, uh, I'll see how I go, eh? Well, you've got a lot of catching up to do. You'll have to make a huge effort. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. Listen, I've been having a bit of trouble working at home trying to get this English essay finished. Luke said I should see if I could use one of the rooms at the school. Oh, uh, well, uh, what's, what's the trouble at home? Just a bit noisy at the moment. All oh, right. Uh, well, uh, I, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't use the school. Maybe, uh, maybe Shane would like to join you. Perhaps you could bounce a few ideas off each other. What are you going to be doing there? Same essay as you, by the sounds of it. I'm going back to school. Yeah? I'll give you both a lift down there after tea, if you like. You're not scared we'll cheat off one another? Well, if you're cheating at this stage of the game, you're only cheating yourselves. Uh, right, I'll leave you to it. Um, a small job I have to take care of. You know, I can't really say that I uh, like the idea of spending the rest of the weekend stuck in a classroom with you for company. Well, I'm not ecstatic about it myself, mate, but I guess we're stuck with it, aren't we? Being on school premises after hours is a privilege, not a right, and I expect you to behave accordingly. No fooling around or wandering off to other parts of the school. You're here to work, and that's what I expect you to do. I'll be back about 11 to lock up. Anything else? Oh, no, I think that just about covers it. Good. Well, use your time wisely. You know, I still can't believe you and me are spending a Saturday night here together. Well, mate, if you're thinking of asking me for a dance, I'm not too keen. Good on you, as if anyone would be that hard up. Were you been here on the weekend, didn't you? Yes, I've been on a deserted island. Found another planet or something. You know, we may as well get this misery over and done with. How's it going? Getting there. Geez, I'm bored. Surprise, surprise, mate. I'm hungry too. Eat something. I can't. Why not? Because I'm on this stupid famine thing. <laughs> How'd you get sucked into that? Guess I'm just a nice guy. Yeah, right. Angel must have sucked you into it, right? Are you going to do any work? Yeah, eventually. Well, can't you think of anything to write? Oh, I'm not that stupid. Well, will you sit down, man? You're really starting to get on my nerves. Excuse me. Hey, you want to give us a few clues? You talking to me? What, do you see anyone else sitting in the room? <laughs> I can see the headlines now. Shane Parrish asked Peter O'Neill for essay ideas. Get stuffed. I must have been stupid to think you had the answers anyway. Sit down, idiot. You won't solve anything by walking off. It's about the modern family, right? Yeah. So just make it your own family, you know? Is it what it was like growing up, how you got on with your olds. What does that mean? I had an old man and an old lady. Big deal. End of story. Yeah, but did you love them? Did they used to belt you up? But the more tragic you make it, the better. Teachers love that sort of stuff. Makes them feel sorry for you. Why would you write? Well, just that I always thought Dad did the dirty on Mum, but it was actually the other way around. Mum ran off with another bloke. I always thought Dad was a bit of a loser. Now at least I know he tried. Easy. Yeah, real easy. We must have something to say about your olds. Uh, nothing worth writing about. Man, there's got to be something. Look, there's nothing, all right, so let's just drop it. You wouldn't want an army old. No one would. I sure as hell don't. I guess I did love them once. Until I worked out what sort of people they were. Not that they ever treated me badly, you know. They didn't bash me up or nothing, but... Well, I just didn't care. You know, they used to think giving me 50 bucks to spend was all they had to do. Would have been nice if they'd come to watch me play footy. Just once, even. Ah, oh, mate, I would have swapped places with you any day. I mean, your old lady might have bailed, but at least your old man hung in there. And he still loved you. All I got was... 
All I got was nothing. At least you got an essay out of him. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I did. Better get on with it then, eh? Hmm. <sighs> Since I'm bad at famines, other. <laughs> Peanut butter sambo never tasted so good, eh? Mm. I reckon. So what are we going to do after we finish here? We're going to celebrate this marathon effort somehow. You tell me. I'm open to suggestions. All right. How about that pool comp over in the Abbey Creek? Yeah. Could be a goer. Might even come out on top and win a few bucks. There's just one problem. We're going to play doubles. All right. You're on, partner. <laughs>